summer league and getting ready for now. What was kind of those those weeks in between, like you know, having getting a little taste of NBA basketball, and also it seemed like getting to get with the guys a little bit. Mm -hmm. too, yeah. After this, after the summer league, it was really just a lot of work, a lot of work with the team. We started off early, just kind of getting in the gym, building that chemistry together. You know, um, coach had us working all summer, you know what I mean? And that's how that's I feel it was good for us because now we're going into the season with no chemistry with having, you know, me and J.I. just coming in, getting drafted, and then I signed some new, some new guys too. Everybody got to kind of get in the gym and get a feel for each other. Thank you. What do you anticipate you know, for your, your, your rookie season as far as the coaching staff has to be to you as far as what they expect? Just for me to um, grow, get better, learn, and, and, and just to kind of soak up everything that, that's, that's going on around me. You know what I mean? Me coming in, being one of the youngest players to come in, is honestly just about growth. And that's what I'm locked in on, just doing whatever I can to help the team grow and, and get better. I just asked Isaiah uh, Stewart, his rookie year, what got him on the floor, the motor, the hustle, uh, was able to kind of learn on the fly for you. Being young, do you think your like athleticism, that type of motor, will tend to do way to throw you a few minutes early on and let you figure it out, or is that what you have to hope happens in terms of? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, using my natural ability, using what got me here to try to get on the floor, whether that be um, on the defensive end, on the boards, you know what I mean. Just, just doing what I can and doing what I do best to try to get on the floor. I feel will help me kind of show that I could be out there, you know what I mean, and, and just prove myself throughout my rookie year. Did they talk, like, both Dwayne and, and Troy are big proponents of using the G League as a developmental tool, and Dwayne's talked about how a rookie year Pascal Siakam was going back and forth. But have they talked to you at all about you know, the expectation of going back and forth a little bit? Or? Yeah, I mean, uh, I haven't heard too much about it, but honestly, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm whatever they need, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm here to develop and grow as a player to be the best player I can be, so whatever route they feel will help me best, I'm, I'm all for taking. Talk to Rashid since everything's kind of calmed down about what to expect being here. Uh, when I talk to Coach Rashid, is mainly just about life. I mean, you know, it's here and there about basketball, but uh, he, he really just checks in on me, and my family. Of course, he's excited I'm here, and, and he's very happy for me. But you know, I mean, conversation more consistent life. You were uh, draft night, and then the next day you were you were very open about wanting to come to Detroit, and you talked about. You know, when you got here, you talked to your agent and said, this is where I want to be. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that feeling as strong now as it was then? Yeah, if not stronger. Honestly, just being here, being around the family atmosphere, it's just it's, it's everything I knew it was going to be. Um, I'm excited to be here, like I said before. Still excited to be here. I just can't wait for my career and, my, and the season to start. What about Detroit um, and your early impressions kind of made that feeling grow stronger? Just the mentality and the culture that they had when I came for uh, as early as the workout, like I just seen what they were building. I, even talking to Coach Casey, talking to um, Mr. Troy Weaver, they just—I just felt the energy in the city, energy in their voices, and, and they believed in me. They believed in my talents. They believed in my growth. So, I mean, I felt it was a good place for me to be. It was a good fit. So the first day of summer league, that live connection between you and Jay—that what we can expect on the board, like you did that mm -hmm. live. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I feel like that's one of the things I do best. Um, even having guards like Kay Cunningham and Jay and I, we kept in Hayes and all the guys across the board who were just great guards all around with great IQ, I feel it would make the game easier for me and as I try to make the game easier for them. So I feel like it would be good for us to, you know what I mean, kind of play off each other. Does it help when you're serving as that linebacker to kind of get your post game going up? Yeah, it does. It does because it. it it makes the defense play more honest. I mean, you come down and pick and roll with, you say, me or Kay or me and Jay and Ivy. You know, Jay is fast as they come, and Kay is as smart as they come. So you honestly got to play You got to play it more smarter. You can't, you can't take no nice off. You've had a pretty quick transition the last two years, going from high school to basketball, down to school to the year, and Memphis and the NBA. Just what have you noticed the most so far is some of the league your teammates just about the increase of yeah, it's been good. I mean, of course, everybody's better because well, yeah, it's more consistent and talent up, up, up here because everybody's good. You know, I mean, everybody's in here for a reason. So I, I've noticed that it's just 
You just gotta lock in. You gotta work. You gotta be willing to put in the work. And for me, it's been a good adjustment because I've been locking in all summer. I've been in Detroit, you know, working on my body, working on my game, getting ready for the season. So it's been a good. It's, and and the team has helped me make that transition really well. So everybody has been kind of has been helping hand to my transition. So it's been good. Thanks, Josh.